find the general solution of the given system. So your given system in terms of in terms of factor x prime. Okay. So first you need to find a minus lambda i. Let's call this matrix A. Then subtract with lambda i. That gives you this matrix. And then find its determinant. That gives you this thing. Distribute this out and then simplify it. You will get this. Set this equal to zero. Then so for lambda, you have you will get lambda equal zero, five, and five. Okay, just repeated values and distinguish sign and values as one, two. So for lambda equal zero, plug it into this one. That gives you this matrix augmented with zero. Okay. So if I reduce this down to a base matrix, not really a base matrix, but you can use this uh, method or because the goal is to find uh, find find out what the nonce are k1, k2, k3. So you can reduce this down to a base matrix or you can use this matrix directly. So here's what I reduce it down to this one. But if I use this one instead, let's see. If I use this one, I have of oh, this uh, this one and this one is the same. So what I did, I just divide the first row by five. No, I move the second row up, the first row down. Okay, and then make this become zero. Okay, so now for here, I have two k two plus five k three equals zero. So for k three, I got negative two fifths k two. Okay, so if I choose k2 equals 5, then k3 is negative 2, k1 is 4, then my vector k is 4, 5, negative 2, alright? Now that is for lambda equals 2, now you are going to do the same thing for lambda equals 5, plug it into here, and then that gives you a new matrix, which is this matrix, then augmented with 0. Now, very quickly you can find out the value for k2, which is 0, okay? Now use the second equation you have k1 minus 5k2 plus 2k3 equals 0 since k2 is 0 so just ignore it so for k1 I got negative 2k3 if I choose k3 equals 1 then k1 is negative 2 then my vector k is negative 2 0 1 all right so now I have two eigenvectors for it now I have to find the third eigenvalue eigenvector because you have three eigenvalues for the 3 by 3 matrix well so since you have repeated eigenvalues, you are going to use this same matrix, but you are going to augment it with the uh, vector k you just found. In this case, vector k, which is negative 2, 0, 1. So take this matrix, augment it with this one, okay? Which is what I had here. And then start for the unknowns. Now in this case, for this one, you have k1, k2, k3. Now for this one, I'm going to call it p1, p2, p3. So very quickly, I found out that P2 is 1 half, okay, because 2P2 two two equals 1, then P2 is just 1 half. Now use the first, second equation, because the first equation will give you the same thing. Use the second equation, you have P1 minus 5P2 plus 2P3 equals 0, solve for P1. You have 5P2 minus 2P3, if I choose P3 equals 1, then P1 is 1 half. Then my vector p is one half, one half, one. Now it's time to write our final answer. So your x three is going to be. So since you have repeated repeated eigenvalues in distinguished eigenvalue two, your final answer will be a combination of those two. So let's take a look at the first one when you have lambda equals zero then your final answer is equal to c1 times vector uh, eigenvector for that lambda so i have c1 times this one and my lambda is zero okay so i have c1 this times this vector times e to the zero which is one plus c2 times this vector e to the lambda t and in this case t, lambda is 5 so I have e to the 5t plus c3 times so this answer is a is the answer for more 
if repeated eigenvalues, okay? C3 times open parentheses. This vector again times t e to the phi t plus p vector vector p times e to the phi t. Okay, so if you don't remember what, if you don't know how I got this one, so this is answer for lambda equals zero. This is answer for lambda equals five. Okay, that's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.